So just crunching some basic math right here, and I've kind of rounded off. So we're just going to go with the basic 25 factions. Each faction is going to have six detachments. So that's going to give us a total of 150 detachments. And then of those 150 detachments, each one is going to have six stratagems. Now we don't know if those are going to be unique. Maybe a lot of those will be repeated. I doubt it, or that would kind of defeat the purpose of all the individual detachments. But that being said, if you have six stratagems per detachment, and you have 150 detachments, that gives us a total of 900 stratagems, plus the base couple stratagems in the book. And then of course, if there are 900 stratagems, there's gonna be four enhancements for every six stratagems or four per detachment. So that's gonna give us 600 enhancements. So if that's what simplified, not simple means, this edition is going to be the messiest thing we've ever seen from Games Workshop. Welcome back to the channel, my friends, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and today we're taking a look inside the new Tyranid Codex. This video is sponsored by CMO Games. More on that later. Smash or sneak, you decide in the first look at the new detachments from Codex Tyranids. The new Codex Tyranids is up for pre-order this weekend, and this first Codex release for the new edition of Warhammer 40,000. Inside, you'll find all of the lore, showcase miniatures, and rules you've come to expect, as well as complete rules to play with your horde of extra-galactic alien monsters. The new codex replaces the free index which came at the start of the edition and expand your army options with the new detachments and introducing new and updated data sheets. In addition to the familiar invasion fleet detachment, there are five more to choose from. For the Tyranids, these represent the various ways that the High Fleet wages war over the course of their invasion. And today, we're declassifying some vital Ordo Xenos intel on how they work. Alright, so first off, the most important thing and Games Workshop divulged that in yesterday's article uh, talking about the Tyranids is each army is going to get six different detachments. Now, in this case, one of those detachments is the current detachment for Tyranids, and it hasn't changed. In some cases, they may change, but six per faction. So that is quite a lot, in my opinion. I was hoping for or expecting something like three. I would have probably been happy with them like slowly rolling out extra ones over time. But six per codex is insane. I think it's going to be really hard for them to balance all of that. I do like that it's going to give you some different ways you build your army and everything like that. So it looks like every army is going to have a lot of options. So we have basically like 25 factions. If each faction is going to get six different detachments, that's like 150 different detachments. And then each detachment is going to have six stratagems. That's like 900 stratagems. So Games Workshop talked a lot about there being less rerolls this edition and less stratagems. Simplified, not simple. This definitely does not seem like that. Now, maybe some of these stratagems are going to overlap. Some of the enhancements are going to overlap. So when you learn each of these new books, it's not going to be like you're learning six full detachments, 36 new stratagems, and 24 enhancements. This is the first book, and this is the first knowledge dump we're getting from Games Workshop. And honestly, it seems like a lot. It definitely does not seem like simplified, not simple. It just seems like everything Games Workshop has been promising this edition in advance is basically going up in a puff of smoke. But I digress. Each detachment offers your army unique benefits. A detachment rule, four enhancements, and six stratagems. While some factions will find that the detachment from their index changes slightly when their codex arrives, this is not the case for the invasion fleet, which functions exactly as it does now. If you like your bio monsters large and stompy, you'll be glad to see the return of the Crusher Stampede. This detachment powers up your big beasties once you start taking damage, and they'll be able to take plenty of it now that monsters and vehicles are much tougher overall. So we have the Tyranids Crusher Stampede Detachment Rule. So very cool, bringing that back. Enraged Behemoths. Each time a Tyranid Monsters model from your army makes an attack, add one to the hit roll if the unit is below its starting strength, add one to the wound roll if that model's unit is below half strength. So in this case, because it's monsters... If there's only one monster in the unit, as soon as it takes one damage, it's plus one to hit. And as soon as it is below 50% wounds remaining, it gets plus one to wound. So pretty cool. Power up your monsters as they get damaged. With army construction being much easier in the new edition, you can now fill your force with all the Carnifexes, Molochs, and Turvagons you like. And it's a doddle to make sure that every unit on your side of the battlefield benefits from the new rules. Don't worry about having fewer miniatures on the board to contest objectives. The Ominous Presence Enhancement shores up the OC stat on your characters. So we see the Crusher Stampede Enhancement, Ominous Presence, Tyranid Monster Model Only. Add three to the bearer's objective control characteristic. So that's for one model. So it's good, but 
it's not great. But perhaps it's still early days for your invasion and you're trying to keep your swarming on the down low. Instead of crushing everything in your path, build your army with a Vanguard Onslaught Detachment and slip those lovely new Lictors, Neurolictors, Death Leapers right behind your opponent's lines. Alright, so we see the Tyranid Vanguard Onslaught Detachment rule, questing tendrils. Tyranid units with this ability are eligible to charge in a turn in which they fell back. Vanguard Invader units with this ability are eligible to charge in a turn in which they advanced. And then we see Vanguard Prime, Death Leaper loses the Hunter Organism rule and can be your Warlord. As you might expect, these sneaky critters specialize in assassinating key enemy units with blistering assaults. Vanguard Invader units also include most flying creatures as well as Broodlords and Gene Stealers. So even if stealth isn't your cup of tea, you'll have plenty of lightning fast bruisers to pick from. Just imagine the new winged Tyranid Prime barreling towards your opponent's Warlord with the Chameleonic Enhancement, keeping it safe and the Assassin Beast Stratagem in your pocket. So we see Tyranid Vanguard Onslaught Enhancement, Chameleonic, Vanguard Invader model only, the bear has a stealth ability, and each time a ranger attack targets the bear's unit, models in that unit have the benefit of cover against that attack. So pretty cool, conferring a minus one to hit and automatically getting cover is definitely nice. And next we see Assassin Beast, Vanguard Onslaught Battle Tactics Stratagem. One command point, when in the fight phase, target one Vanguard Invader Infantry unit from your army that has not been selected to fight this phase. Effect, until the end of the phase, melee weapons equipped by models in the unit have precision ability. So you pop up with uh, some of your sneaky Tyranids and potentially assassinate a character. Pretty neat. Each detachment puts a wildly different spin on your battle plans. And since you're not locked to any particular high fleet, you can chop and change which one you're using whenever you like. Perhaps you flood the board with an unending swarm of endless multitude infantry, building a devouring assimilation swarm around a brood of hungry, hungry horospexes, or unleash the power of the hive mind itself in a synaptic nexus. So we see the unending swarm, Assimilation Swarm and Synaptic Nexus. That's all we can divulge for now. Inquisitorial privilege and all that. But we'll be back tomorrow chatting to the designers of the new Codex. How they tackled the monumental task before them. There's also plenty more to unveil from the book as we approach pre-orders on Saturday. So don't miss this. Now a quick message from today's sponsor. CMO Games has been selling Games Workshop products online for over 20 years. They carry the full line of Games Workshop products including Warhammer 40,000, Age of Sigmar, Necromunda, Blood Bowl, Paint Tools, and more. Almost all Games Workshop products are priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games takes pre-orders for most Games Workshop products released at their earliest date possible. 12.01 a.m. on Saturday, they go live. Most of these pre-order products are also priced at 15% off MSRP. CMO Games offer free shipping in the U.S. 48 with an order of $50 or more. Their customer service is top-notch and they ship most orders within 24 hours. Visit CMOGames.com using the affiliate link in the description and let them know that you heard about CMO Games from Warhammer Man. Now, back to the video. So, definitely interesting. I think the biggest takeaway for me is the fact that we're just finding out each army is going to have like six different detachments. So, everybody has their current faction rule. Some are really good. Some are less exciting. Those should not be changing. But the detachment rule will now have six options per army as the codexes roll out. And like I said, if each of those detachments is going to have six stratagems and four enhancements, by the time we start doing the math on this stuff, this edition is going to be the most bloated edition we've ever seen. Now, this is all just based on what Games Workshop has told us so far. Obviously, we haven't even seen the first codex yet. Now, on the positive side, I do like the idea that everybody gets six different ways they can play their army with six different sets of special rules, enhancements, stratagems they can use. Also, at the beginning of the game, even if your opponent's not familiar with your army at all, you can slide them your little card and it shows basically which detachment you're using, all your detachment rules, your six stratagems and your four enhancements. And that's all they have to look at. That's all they have to focus on. Just that one or two pages of info that your opponent shows you before the game. So I think if you're overall familiar with Warhammer 40k, you have a general understanding of how the armies work, the factions perform. This should be enough to at least give you the info you need so there's no like feel bad moments. But that being said, this definitely doesn't feel like simplified, not simple. So just crunching some basic math right here and I've kind of rounded off. So we're just going to go with the basic 25 factions. Each faction is going to have six detachments. So that's going to give us a total of 150 detachments, six for each faction. And then of those 150 detachments, each one is going to have six stratagems. Now we don't know if those are going to be unique. Maybe a lot of those will be repeated. I doubt it, or that would kind of defeat the purpose of all the individual detachments. But that being said, if you have six stratagems per detachment and you have 150 detachments, that gives us a total of 900 stratagems plus the base couple stratagems in the book. 
And then of course, if there are 900 stratagems, there's going to be four enhancements for every six stratagems or four per detachment. So that's going to give us 600 enhancements. So if that's what simplified, not simple means, this edition is going to be the messiest thing we've ever seen from Games Workshop. The idea that we're going to have 150 detachments to choose from by the time all the codexes are out is absolutely insane. And the thought of even having to memorize or look over 900 stratagems. So I don't know when it's all said and done, this just feels like this is going to be the most bloated edition we've ever seen. Now, maybe that's not going to be a bad thing. Maybe it's going to be the most fun edition ever, but it's also going to be really bloated. Maybe it's going to be really organized though. So you can just hand your opponent one or two sheets of paper and they can see all of your special rules in just a couple minutes. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. It definitely feels like Games Workshop set out and has some clear ideas in mind when designing this edition. And I'm just not sure that the edition they like air quote sold us is the edition that we're getting. So let me know what you think down below. Am I making some kind of mathematical error? Have I completely over exaggerated the numbers here? Because when I do some basic math, it looks to me like this edition is going to be insane. So let me know what you think down below. Always like to hear back from you guys in the comments. Of course, I want to see as many cool rules for as many factions as possible. But I also want the game to be fun. I want there to be as few feel bad moments as possible. And I want it to be balanced. But maybe what I want is just not realistic. Special thanks to CMO Games for sponsoring the video. Check them out to save 15% on Games Workshop. Link in the description. That's it for today. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. And 900 stratagems seems like a lot. And I'm out of here.